What are manufacturing costs? First, we have to define manufacturing. Manufacturing is the process of converting raw materials into finished goods. That process involves costs, manufacturing costs. What are manufacturing costs, also called product costs? Manufacturing costs are divided into three categories, direct material, direct labor, manufacturing overhead. Let's explore each one individually. Direct materials are the physical materials and supplies that are built into the product during the manufacturing process. For a bakery, this would include the flour, sugar, eggs, milk, butter, and other ingredients included in, for instance, a cake. These are the raw materials which can be physically and directly traced to the finished product. So are all raw materials used in the manufacturing process direct materials? No. Some raw materials are indirect materials, which are raw materials that can't be easily associated with the finished product. Indirect materials are indirect for one of two reasons. Sometimes they're just difficult to trace to the individual product, like the butter we use to grease a cake tin before we put the batter in. Sometimes it's because it's not feasible to trace the material to the product because they're too small or their cost is too low. For instance, the tape we use to seal the box that we put the finished cake in. It's definitely part of the cost of making the product, but the cost is too small to bother tracing directly. Companies account for indirect materials as part of manufacturing overhead. So now let's move on to direct labor. This is the cost of the factory employees who convert the raw material into finished goods. For instance, the bakers in the bakery who make the cake and the worker who decorates the cake and places it in the box, ready for sale. All of these would be classified as direct labor. Are all workers in the factory classified as direct labor? And the answer is no. Similar to indirect materials, some workers in the factory can't be easily traced to the finished product. Their work is considered indirect labor because either they work in the factory, but they never touch the finished product, or it is not economically feasible to trace their work to the product because the time they contribute is too small. An example would be the wages of the individual who simply moves the cake from the oven over to the place where it's going to be cooled. They definitely work in the factory and they do work directly with the cakes, but the time they contribute is too small to trace directly. Like indirect materials, indirect labor is classified as manufacturing overhead. So what is manufacturing overhead? Manufacturing overhead are those costs which are indirectly associated with the manufacturing of the finished product. Manufacturing overhead is also called factory overhead, indirect manufacturing costs, and burden. What are some of the costs included in manufacturing overhead? Raw materials which cannot be easily associated with the finished product, which you already know is called indirect material. Labor, which cannot be easily associated with the finished product, and you already know that's indirect labor. Depreciation on the factory building and machines. Insurance on the factory and property taxes incurred on the factory. The cost of maintenance for the factory facilities. If the cost is manufacturing related, but it cannot be classified as a direct material or a direct labor, it should be considered manufacturing overhead. So manufacturing costs also called product costs, are always divided into three categories. Direct materials, direct labor, manufacturing overhead, which is all the indirect costs incurred in the manufacturing process. Manufacturing costs. Thanks for watching.